Right guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Hunter Collective. Today we've got Albert in the chair, how are you doing? Good mate. You alright? Yeah, good. So tell me about your hair then mate, is this a lockdown growth is it or? Yeah, just growing up over lockdown I'm thinking I need a bit shorter on the sides, kind of make it tidy. Okay, what is the overall end goal to the haircut? I'm, I'm not really sure, I just want to see how it goes with the time, so. I'll right, okay. man bun at the beginning, but we'll oh, see how okay. it goes. Uh, is man bun still in the question? Maybe, maybe. And if you're going to take the length off the back and sides, you're going to cut yourself back an awful few yeah. months. That's the only thing, if you don't mind that. That's okay, yeah. Okay. All right, so would you be happy to loot? If you want it off like, around the ears, like, do you want it like neat around the ears? Is that like the kind of like, classic kind of cut around the ear? Or do you want to brush back around the ear? Uh, is there like a halfway point between the two, maybe? No, yeah. not really. <laughs> well, there is, but there isn't, because it'll, it'll, look, it'll always look messy, so. I mean, there's always time for growth, so the first one. If you're happy to lose that length, then I think it'll look lovely, I really do. I think it'll really change the whole look today. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah. yeah, cool, all right, man. So just off camera, they quiff. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to lose that length? Uh, Are you sure? Because I mean, it will be a lot of length. Growth, but... There is, but I don't really think you know what you really want. And I'm a bit, I don't think we've hit the nail on the head of what you want yet. So I think on camera, it's easy to do a conversation, but I think I want to get more in depth with you now, okay, off camera, all right? So, when you say you want to have it tidy around the edges, right? It's not as easy as kind of just taking it off the ears. Everything needs to be layered in to, to create a, a, like a, any sort of haircut, okay? Yeah. So if we were just to take off, like when you said this, that, the halfway point, the reason why I said no is because it doesn't look tidy because it sits on the ear. And if you go too short, it'll just sit on the ear and it'll look like you need a haircut. If you leave it, lengthen it now and take the back off, it'll look nice because you still get to sweep it back. You take it off the ear, that's when it looks the cleanest, but you have to remove an awful lot of length for that. So I just want to make sure we get this right yeah. before we start cutting it. Before this haircut, I had the skin fade, right? That's why I was kind of scared to go to my barbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like a whole new kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I think having like a nice scissor cut, like just something really neat around the back and sides, will look really nice for you. I, again, it's, it's so different to what you'd normally have. Yeah, that's why I'm just... You know what I mean? I, th I think you've got that nice length in it. If we did make it look like a proper hairstyle, more than just being like it, like a sort of all one length all over, I think that'd be really nice, you know. But what I mean is like keeping the length on top. I mean just kind of tidying up the ends, but having it so it does all sit back and just like because you got you got such nice hair. It would be it, it. I think longer hair for you is good, but it don't doesn't always have to be long hair all over. You know what I mean? It can just be like a longer style and a skim fade. So scissor cut is still long for guys because like a skin fade again <laughs> is skin isn't it so but a scissor cut usually goes down to you know the length you normally choose is like could be like a couple of inches in length you know so it's still quite long really mm -hmm. um i do think that'll look really nice for you today and i wouldn't worry too much about taking too much length off because we can we'll still take a, most of the length off the back and side like around the back especially mm -hmm. but if we can still keep some length through this top bit because I, I like the way it curls here mm -hmm. like if we can still keep that element of it coming back a bit through the corner and then just getting gradually shorter towards the, the very edges it won't be like sca there'll be no scalp exposure imagine you cut the top in a little bit so it matches and then essentially you're left with that kind of look through there yeah like that was that kind of varsity look that i i i I grew up on that when I when I started working because it was kind of like what was in in like the American Crew era. So that was the kind of thing I grew up on, and it's just so lovely. It's like a real real manly kind of look. You know what I mean? It's like it's sort of the college football era of that look. You know, um, but again, moving all this length at the back, I just think it look. I do think it look really good. All right, let's do it. Yeah, you happy? Yeah, sweet. I didn't want to start cutting it and then you'd be like, oh no, that's a bit too short. <laughs> right, let me get a gown. One sec. Right, guys. So I've just um, shampooed and conditioned Albert's hair now. We had a little chat as well, bef just before I shampooed it, because I was a little bit unsure what I actually really, really was, was happy with. Because m in my head, when he mentioned man bun, it threw me off. Because when he was asking for it a little bit short around the edges and stuff, I was like, that is like kind of going against everything you do to grow it into man bun. Reality is, is that Albert has always had skin fades, like the majority of guys who have grown the hair now. So I was like, you know, if we did a scissor cut back and sides and made it really nice and neat, like we'll take a lot off the back and sides, but it will still look like a longer haircut, and especially to Albert because a skim fade, like anything scissor cut, so a guy with a skim fade is long. That kind of college football 90s kind of look where it was almost like it was like a proper American kind of scissor cut, not like military, but like scissor cut, bit of length on top. Cause you know, he's got good hair, he's got lovely waves, it's super thick, he's 19. You know, you can pull off anything, right, at, the, at, the, at this point. So I think this will be a really nice, different look for Albert that will look so clean, really fresh, but still with the element of longer hair in there as well. So I thought we'd give that a go today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with a horseshoe section, okay? I'm just going to dry this off a little bit. 
So I'm working with the scissors, I don't want these soaking wet. Working through your fingers is all right when it's really wet. It's much easier to section, but when you're working with the scissor over comb, a little bit, tiny bit, and um, drier than what this is, really, really nice. There we go. So I want to take off the back and sides about that much, okay? Maybe a bit less, but I want to still maintain a fair bit of length through here. All right? We have a lot of elevation to this because I want to layer it from longer to shorter. So lifting it up and taking off what I see fit. And then working closer as we get down to the bottom. And I'm starting to get a little bit closer down until my comb is flat on Albert's neck. And that'll be a nice natural taper. And just cross checking and working back up through the sections. So we've left a lot of length through here as you're getting shorter down the bottom. You know, elevate it, there's my guide. And cut. I'm just going to cross check back through. Elevation, cut. And just all maintain like that a longer version, a longer haircut to what Albert will be used to. So obviously, every time he's been in the barbers. He's gone for a skin fade. So that's why I was trying to figure out what the end, the end goal was at the start, but also what he'd be happy with today. And I think anything longer than a skin fade is going to feel long to Albert because he's always having a skin fade, but this will still feel quite long to him, which is quite a nice balance because, again, he, just, he wanted it nice and clean off the ears. So there's my guide. Getting closer down. And just working around the neckline as well. Don't that tape at the neck to really finish it off, but I still want to keep some length through the sides. You can see it still moves back nicely as well. Section again, elevation. Now, I'm starting the guide again now, but I'm working to the left hand side. There we go, elevation. Good. Again, keep following your guide, you can't go wrong. Just to make sure your sections are nice and close. Work around the shape of the ear as well. So I'm working on following the neckline. Work with the razor. I'm going to work left to right, right to left. I'm going to start adding a bit of movement. You can see it still moves that way. And this will thin it out a little bit. But what it'll also do is cut the direction so that his hair will fall in different ways. Working across the comb. Time to thin out the hair too. Really starts to help to thin out the sides in the back. We'll work it down. Help to break up the length through the crown. We're gonna dry it off now and then we will detail around the edges. shape in there. There we go. I'm going to leave the hairline. I want to stay natural. I don't want to do any detail. Maybe just all on the side bends a little bit. But I want to cut this so it just sits on top of the ear. Trim around. I'm going to teeth towards you and cut. Now you may take a couple of goes to get it right. And then just slight clip over comb. What I've done is really tapered it so we can start to see the ear a bit more now. Just a bit higher up and start to gradually add a bit of clip over comb. And just cut it to where the ear would be and cut just top of the ear. I'm pulling the ear down and just working very closely to the ear, like so. And just strengthen up the side bend a bit more. Just start putting our perimeter line in, keeping it nice and wide. Again, I want this to be really natural looking. Keep that up. And just start to graduate. Down to the ear a little bit. Where it is, and cutting the ends off like that. Maintain that thickness there. More than tapering it. And just putting the line in here for now. So using the comb along the hairline. 
Turn them off, it allows me to see where the line needs to go. We've matched it up nicely. I'm going to do a nice low taper on this, so a little bit of clip, clip rubber comb. We can up from underneath the occipital bone here, pick it up and just start to work lower down. So same kind of thing, pick it up, point cut into it. Wouldn't just go in with like say thinnesses and put uh, like a straight blunt finish. What this helps to do is give it more texture as well as it falls. So you thin it out. Again, similar to what the razor was doing before. The chunkier texture now. Not too deep now, just more towards the ends. Like that. As you get to the side here now, it's just more towards the ends. Still want that hair to be able to sit back a bit. We cut too far in, it's close to the scalp. The short hairs will pop out and make it stick right out. Back sides are done. You know what I'll do? I'll just leave a lot of length through the top for you, but, but I'll just make it easier for you to style. Okay? So we'll work on our horizontal sections over the round of the head now. As you can see, we've got a long section in there. And we'll connect it to about here. So as you pick it down, you'll see I'll we'll have a guide just through here. I'm just going to uniform cut this as well. Straight across. So we're leaving a lot of length through that corner, so that sits nicely back as well. Same thing again here. So we're looking at, say, the width of this comb in our section. We lift it up, there's my guide, put it straight across. Now the reason I'm cutting horizontal is it'll match the length here, but as we bring it back, it moves around so you get all the different sections. As we get to the front, we can angle this out like so. We're going to look for that point there, just so we maintain a lot of length at the front. That way, the fringe will sit back and be the longest point at the top as well. One more section past the centre. Pick it up. We'll gather underneath. Match up. As you see, not much comes off the very bit there, the very end. A lot of length. Still sitting to that top as well. One section now just off centre. Then we're cutting the centre part in. And just bring it out towards you. So you have not much left in that side there. The back of the head will do vertical sections. And that'll layer it in a little bit nicer. I'm going to point cut this in a bit as well. Just a point cut in. Same again. You see where the length's coming from here and the short length underneath. So we'll do one more section just on the apex. There go just a little bit there. there go. And just start to raise her in. Go from sort of halfway to the end. And his hair is so thick, he can really take a lot of uh, razor work as well. If his hair was a lot thinner, you'd do a lot less razoring. Okay, so based on the thickness of the hair, is how you can base on how much razoring you can get away with. All the way back. And that connects automatically for us. Pick it up, you've got a point. So we can basically, the lower we work down, it'll still connect. So if I lift it up, like if you've seen in the other videos, you've got a point all the way up. So it doesn't matter how short you go, it'll all connect. You've always got a connecting point either side. So tiniest little bit through the top, just to break it up a little bit. There we go. Through here. And cut into that to really break it up. That's so. Starting from the root, work up. So you can have loads of different lengths sitting through there. All right, but what I'll do, it allows her to stand up a little bit, move around a little bit, but also collapse because we cut it from the root, okay? From the root, working up. See the blade pretty much flat against, just sliding through just to thin the hair out. Just flat with the razor, 
Just slide that down just to thin out that hair a little bit, okay? Sliding the razor pretty flat against the hair. Slide across the top. But what we'll do, we'll dry it off and then uh, we'll see the finished look. So I'm going to use a vent brush for this now because I want this to flow a little bit more. So I use the round brush on the sides just to get that kind of to grip the hair and kind of make it move a bit to see if it would move. And then I'm using the high heat and high speed with the vent brush just to give that a more natural finish to the top. Albert, what you can do is just, just finger dry it. You don't need to use a brush, okay? Yeah. Just finger dry it. The, the brush is for me to kind of really dry it off and see what I can get with it, you know? See, everything that I've done with the texturizing, and the, the, the cutting and stuff is actually gonna work, and I think it's actually work. Yeah. But you could just use your fingers if you want to, or let it dry naturally. Put some product in and let it dry naturally, and then after an hour or two, run your fingers through. Now, I'm going to finish off with the Regal Gentleman Mac Clay. I think this is a perfect one for this style. It's got a solid hold. Again, it's pliable, so you can wear it. You can just, I want, you, I want to try and encourage you to run your fingers through your hair. That, that's essentially, that is what, to get a really good look is just run it through the day. If you're going out in the night or, well, can't go out in the night anymore, but you know, if, we, if, we, if you're going out in the afternoon, right, um, you can run your fingers through the day and it'll still stay and it'll move around. It'll, the oils from your hands will mix in with the product and it just gives a really nice finish. But I'm gonna start to rip my fingers just through the crown, okay? Like that. Work that through, like that, into the top. Work it into the crown, like so. And then work it into the back. And as you see, all that texture, all that movement we put in the back there, okay? We're gonna start from here. And work your fingers to the front, okay? Like so. So just letting the little flicks fly away, twisting the hair around my fingers to kind of create a bit more of a flick to the hair. What do you make of that, Lee? I really like it, yeah. Do you like it, yeah? yeah. Looks nice, doesn't it? Very good, thank you. Did you ever think you could do that with your hair? Did you ever think when you're having your skin fade, you could have a haircut, haircut like this? I would definitely prefer this. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Get a nice gradual taper into the bottom. Still sitting just on the ear, so it's nice and tidy, but you still got that length, it's not tapered in too tight. And it just sits in nice and classic. Great. Happy, yeah? Great. Thanks, man. Cheers, buddy. So, to recap, um, Albert wasn't too sure of sort of what length he wanted to go to. He just wants something that was going to be off the ears and kind of basically tidy up what he's been growing out. So, I wasn't really unsure of what length we were going to go to. I wanted to make sure it was the exact length that he wanted. So, I sort of suggest that we kind of cut it, like scissor cut all over and just kind of a nice gradual taper into the neck, but also something that, if I shot on the ears, that isn't going to be like too sort of sharp, like kind of too high and too round, that we're still going to be able to give him length that would sit back as well. Um, and also again, if he wants to, at the end goal of growing it into like say a man bun or something like that, you can still grow from this. It's not like we've gone down to a skin fade, or gone too short. So what we did was scissor cut back and sides, found the length that we liked. So it was, I don't know what, you, what length this would be, but you know, a length that was kind of still be able to, I could still put the razor in it, I could still point cut into the back and sides, I could still kind of wear product through it to really make it kind of uh, move around. So whatever length that is, maybe an inch, couple of inches maybe. Yeah, just cut it so it's tapered a bit tighter into the neckline, a bit more classic, but then obviously not as tight into the, into the ears so that we still sat a little bit heavier on the ears, but the, you could still push it back. I think it's a nice contrast, it looks really neat, but you still maintained a bit of length in there. Picked a little bit of length at the top just to give a bit of a fresher, fresher feel. And then uh, work the razor quite heavily through to thin that hair out. And then work the different angles to kind of force hair different ways. To style, we used um, just your Regal Gentleman Mac Clay. So this can fall any way you want. You can just run his fingers through it and it'll fall nice. And that was essentially it. Yeah? Happy? Very happy. Thanks. Good. Thank you, man. For me, so it's what your face looks like. Yeah, suit your lows, man. Yeah, you've got wicked hair, mate. Wicked hair. You'll get a lot of comments on how nice your hair is, I can guarantee you.